Hi friends, welcome to my big tidy up. I'm glad you're here today. If this is your first time, welcome. I'm happy to have you. And if you're one of my tidy uppers, welcome back. We've got a lot to get accomplished today. I am super stoked about this video today. I've been looking forward to making this. Today's video is all about cleaning and organizational hacks. This may actually turn into a two video type of thing because I have got a lot of great ideas. Some of them you may already know, but like I said, said before in my first video, sometimes we can make a new twist on an old idea. So without further ado, let's get tidy. All right, let's jump right into it. I'm right here in the kitchen and this is a good place to start. Why? Because we spend so much time here and there are four major areas that can cause a bit of a stink in our kitchen. And today we're gonna work on three of them with hacks. The garbage disposal, the dishwasher, and your trash can. Now the refrigerator can cause a problem too, but we'll hit that another day. So let's get started. Okay, hack number one, your garbage can. Now it doesn't matter if you have concealed trash in a pull out drawer or if your trash can sits out. Either way, these hacks will work no matter where your trash can is located. The first thing, I always try to keep extra garbage bags in the bottom of my trash can. It makes it so much easier and I'm so much more motivated to get that trash out of there if I know that I don't have to go hunt for another bag. Now, to keep that trash smelling good, I use a cotton ball with essential oil. Now, you can adjust this, you can use lemon, or say if it's holiday time, you can use cinnamon or something like that. You just drop it in there with your extra bags and it will keep everything smelling fresh and it actually is getting that next bag ready for when you pull it out. Also, if you have the kitchen garbage can that sits out with the lid, you can do this same trick and you can put it on the lid and tape it up under the lid so you have your cotton ball and every time you open that, you get that fresh scent. So that's one way to take care of an odor with your kitchen trash. Okay, here's hack number two. Now, this really doesn't take care of any kind of odor, but it is convenient and it does help you organize if you're like me and you keep all your grocery sacks. I don't know what I'm gonna do with 52 grocery sacks, but I feel like I need to keep them. And actually, I do use them for a lot of projects, but they get in the way. They just keep growing and growing and you have a big puff ball of grocery sacks. So I come up with using the Clorox wipes dispenser. I just put them in there, you just pull them out, easy peasy, and you're good to go. And actually, you can get about 30 in here. So that's one way that you can keep your garbage bags under control. Hack number three, the garbage disposal. The way I take care of my garbage disposal is I use ice and essential oil or fruit rind or some fruit juice in my disposal to clean it out. Now, before I do this trick, I will run the garbage disposal just so you know there's nothing else in here and it is clean. But even after we think we've got everything washed out, when you do this hack, you'll see that you didn't get it all after all. <laughs> I'm gonna take ice, I'm going to stuff it into the garbage disposal and have it a little bit overflowing. Then I'm gonna add some water and I'm gonna add some essential oil. Now, if essential oil isn't your thing, that's not your jam, no problem. You can just use a little bit of lemon juice or sometimes if I have a citrus rind or a little piece of orange or lime or lemon, I'll just drop that in there as well and it will chew that up as it's grinding the ice. Now, it doesn't hurt your blades. Actually, the ice will sharpen your blades and then you get all this stuff that's gonna come floating up and then it will be gone.
Moving right along, hack number four, it's our dishwasher. To get your dishwasher smelling clean and fresh, these two items, they can be your magic ticket. A little white vinegar and some baking soda. You just put a half a cup of each at the bottom of your dishwasher, close it up, run a small cycle, and when it's done, you will see all the food odor is gone. And the combination of the baking soda and the vinegar helps with hard water buildup as well. So it's a win-win situation. All right, hack number five, and then we are out of this kitchen, moving to a new area. Hack number five has to do with the dishwasher, but it's not about cleaning it or making it smell nice. It's about utilizing it as a drying rack. Now, you might be like me, and you may be a person that does a lot of dishes by hand. Maybe it takes you a couple of days to get a full load, and you just as soon wash them by hand and get it done and put away. Well, you can do that, but you can do it without having to get out a drying rack in your sink or towels on your counter. Just use your dishwasher as your drying rack. Take your dirty dishes, wash them up by hand, place them in your dishwasher, keep it cracked and they'll be dry in no time. So if you have a surprise guest, someone's coming by, or you need to do something on your counter, you don't have to worry about counter clutter or cleaning up because you have a surprise guest. Everything's nicely hidden in the dishwasher. Okay, hack number six, and we're in the bathroom for the next couple of hacks. The hack I'm excited to share with you about is using a squeegee to remove hair from your bathroom mats. Now, if you have pets or a problem with pet hair, you can use a squeegee on your furniture, your couches, your beds, wherever your pet hair may accumulate, and just drag it with that squeegee, and the hair will cling to the rubber of the squeegee, and it's so much easier to get rid of. Now, that's not our issue here at our house. The issue is I seem to have hair everywhere. When I get ready in the morning, I try to gather it up and make sure it gets in the trash can, but inevitably, some of it always falls on the mat, and it's hard to get up. I can't seem to shake it out because it clings to it. If you try to run the vacuum over it, well, we know how that goes. It usually sucks up to the vacuum and you could scrape it or pick it, but that takes a while too. So I found using a squeegee to remove hair off of your bathroom mat or different little rugs in your home is a great way to go. It's a great hack. Okay, I believe this is hack number seven. I want to get to number 10, so stay with me till the end, but I better pick up the pace so we make it. Um, hack number seven is about cleaning as you go, and it's about the bathtub and the shower doors. And we know that's a daunting task. I don't think I know anyone that enjoys doing it. We like it when it looks nice and it's all done and completed, but we sure don't like the process. Well, one thing that can make it just a little bit easier is when you clean as you go. Now, what I've done is I've got a little brush like that we buy that we use for dishes, and I keep the green one downstairs for dishes, green for go dishes, and blue is for bathroom, so I never get them mixed up if I'm filling products. Now, what I have in here right now is Dawn antibacterial soap, dish soap, and it works wonderful. You can also use Tide and Water or whatever your favorite cleaning product is. You just keep it in here. When you step in, do a little brush brush, and you can even just do this area on Monday, this area on Tuesday. It takes you about 30 seconds, maybe a minute, but it sure does keep everything under control, and it's a good hack for keeping your bathtub looking clean. All right, hack number eight, here we are. Now, I almost didn't put this in because I wanna give you things that maybe you don't know or that we could put a new spin on something, but I have a feeling that everyone in America has already known about this hack. I myself just learned about it probably six months ago. Yes, it's true. And so for that one person that's watching this video that doesn't know, 
this is for you, okay? Now, when you are cleaning out your toilet and you have got your brush and you've finished cleaning out the bowl, and before you put the toilet brush into the toilet brush caddy, take it and lay it ever so gently and let it drip off and drain. Now, why that didn't occur to me, I don't know. It never did. Um, but now it does, and the next hack that I'm going to show you, number nine, is about transferring this brush into the caddy mess-free. All right, we've made it to hack number nine, and we're back to the toilet brushes. I know this is an extremely glamorous video. Contain yourself, but this is important stuff. It's good stuff to talk about and share. So. Anyway, here is what I do with the toilet brush holders to keep them from getting so gross. Because we know it doesn't matter how many times we tap, tap, tap that brush or how long we leave it hanging there. When we go to turn it upside down and put it in the container in the caddy, we know that water and grossness is gonna come out of it. And you can't really put a paper towel or toilet paper in there because it'll stick to it. So what I found works is I just take my cheapo Dollar Tree sponges. And actually, I use the sponges that I'm getting ready to throw away after I've used them in the kitchen for quite a while and they're looking pretty grody. I just take them and then I just cut them in force and then I just put it right in here at the bottom of it. So I'll take my brush out and it sits in there just like it normally would. And then It'll absorb everything, and all you have to do is just flip it over. And the same thing can go with these other ones. I just put the little sponge right underneath there and it collects it all. Very convenient, very handy, and it limits the grossness. All right, we've made it to hack number 10. Hack number 10 is just an easy way to change out the wax in your little warming bulbs. Now, when you wanna change it out, just drop a few cotton balls. Come back in just a minute, it'll absorb it all, and then it's easy and you don't have to worry about any kind of mess. Well, friends, old and new, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video with the 10 hacks, and just know there'll be more videos like this one coming out soon. Also, for the months of June and July, I am super excited about the content I have planned. There'll be massive declutterings, deep cleaning, and some decorating for the 4th of July holiday, so I hope you'll come back and see me again. Thanks for supporting my channel. I love your comments and your feedback, and if you want to connect with me socially, hop on over to the Facebook page, My Big Tidy Up, or catch me on Instagram, or email me at mybigtidyup at gmail. So until I see you again, stay tidy.